So a long, long time ago, 2008, the day the stock market starts to crash, British artist Damien Hirst sells most of his works at a Sotheby's auction for over 100 million pounds. Also in 2008, a shipwreck is discovered off the east coast of Africa. Later identified as the unbelievable, it is from the second century and belonged to legendary collector Sif Amatam II, which is the most interesting legend you've never heard of. <laughs> Essentially, he went from slave to ultra rich and set out to collect everything beautiful that he could. Now, the team responsible for the discovery reached out to Hearst, newly super rich artist, and he agreed to finance the restoration and recovers of these, recovery of these treasures. So a decade later, in 2017, an exhibition takes place under Hearst's name in Venice, Italy, entitled Treasures from the Wreck of the Unbelievable. And for the show, Hearst and his workshop created many sort of cleaned up copies of the work salvaged and displayed those next to their coral heavy originals. The work I'm going to be talking to you about today is one of a series of Grecian nudes. This middle torso is a pink marble copy. And it's a pretty stereotypical kind of museum item. Let's be honest, you'd probably walk right past it. But the thing that makes this work so interesting is that engraved on the back, it says copyright, 1999, Mattel Inc, China. <laughs> this is actually a replicated Barbie torso created in 2013. Everything I told you about the shipwreck is fake. Damien Hirst created the story and commissioned the works with money from that 2008 auction. And everything in the show was made in the last 10 years. Now, if you went to see the show, the tour guides would not tell you that, the exhibition guide does not tell you that, and there's a Netflix documentary out now, but that buys into the lie as well. So Hearst creates these classical looking works, but mixes in several suspiciously modern pieces like this one. And it is the formality of the art institution that lends credibility to Hearst's fake works. The context of a large old museum site, the history of Venice, and the way we know how to act in a gallery all makes us want to look at art not critically, but from a place where we are ready to absorb and learn. The last thing you do in a museum is read a plaque and go, did that really happen? So apart from the fact that this is all kind of cool, why do you care about a fake art show? Well, the ideas here may be more applicable to your life than you may think. Hearst here has created an environment of lies, not unlike what is happening in a lot of the institutions we once trusted. In my thesis, I'm looking at the art historical and sociological theoretical precedent for how such a show takes place, and my research on this art are important, because without awareness and questioning, we're blindly accepting facts and fake news. What Hearst is doing here is asking us to be more critical of our authority figures, and my work brings forward concerns as to why we believe dominant narratives at all. Thank you.